I started showing cows when I was eight years old. Uh, first calf I had was Sam, which was a bucket calf. Mom, of course, had abandoned it, so uh, bottle fed it and uh, took it and showed it the first year. We're currently at about 60 plus cows. We've got a, a broad base. When uh, I took the herd over from my grandfather, uh, he passed away in 1995, and um, of course I was working with him up to that point. And then uh, through AI, um, with, we do a lot of AI work as well for other people. So we went out and got to breeding some for some other people and decided to start throwing some stuff in. So we did some cement. We started with the cementals on the Angus. Um, then uh, the, the kids uh, were growing up, and we uh, started doing a little of the clubby deal. So we've got a little bit of Maine influence out there, uh, Simmental, Angus. Uh, we have a couple Charlays. Um, I think that's the name we've just recently started playing with uh, Wagyu a little bit. So on our Simmental cows. We've got two different goals, I guess. I, first of all, I want maternal. And second of all, we're doing for the uh, meat market, freezer beef. Our operation is we raise cattle. And uh, we also have a custom hay business that we both are involved in. We have three children, uh, Adam, uh, Amanda, and Ashley. Uh, we've been married, what, 38 years. We've got uh, seven grandchildren dated. And we've been doing a little bit of square bailing. And I don't know, I just decided that uh, I was going to start uh, doing some forages. I actually agreed to going into this hay business thing, you know, which now looking at it, you know, sometimes you wonder, you know, it's a lot of labor and a lot of, you know, going, but and it just, it became very, you know, lucrative for us to do it. So we just keep doing the hay. I guess you always go back to that. Uh, you want to leave the place, your ground better than what you got it. So that's what I'm trying to do, incorporating uh, cover crops, you know, even with the all forages here in pasture, we still go put in cover crops here as well. Uh, especially for you know summer annuals, and um, so that's you know hopefully building better soil health, and we've got to where we're adding more and more things in uh, to help generate that soil health, and and also you know more forages for the animals and keep the animals in better better health. We've got I think 21 paddocks that we run the cows through. Did the equip program back in 2005. We got the uh, equip grant. Uh, did the whole perimeter in five strand high tensile and then each paddock is subdivided with uh, two strands or one strand of high tensile. We were at the point we needed to uh, when we were increasing the cow herd at that point because um, I think in that year we were probably less than 20 animals. Uh, always wanted to get to 25 and uh, we got to 25 and just went right on past. But uh, we were needing fencing and that was a, a opportunity to uh, uh, read, meet a goal that we needed. The benefits that we've seen uh, from doing what we've been doing is uh, improved soil health and the grasses are, you know, we're maintaining more animals on less acres, I guess, as well. With rotational grazing, um, I see that, you know, we, if you look at other farmers, we have more cattle on our acreage per se of uh, pasture ground than what they do and you know and I drive all over the countryside bailing hay and I'm always looking at people's pasture and it's like they run out of pasture way before we ever are even thinking about running out of pasture. If you're not using rotational grazing right now I think you're missing out there again on a lot of benefits because um, your animals are going to graze that one spot find that sweet spot and just keep keep after it where you've got other parts of your land they're not being utilized uh, because they're not eating it. With the rotational grazing you can make them kind of make them eat, uh, utilize the ground a lot better. Being an environmental stewardess, steward to me is just taking care of nature. I mean God only gave you one, one world to live in and if you're not taking care of it nobody else is.